Welcome back to the second part of our question. We just found the domain of the function f of x from the graph, and now we're asked to determine the range of f of x from the graph. The range of a function is a set of all possible outputs, and the outputs of a function occur along the vertical axis. So because the outputs occur along the vertical axis, we want to analyze this function vertically to determine the range of f of x. What I mean by that is notice how the lowest point on this function is this point here where the output or function value would be negative one. And because this point is closed, negative one is in the range of f of x. And notice how this function takes on every output value all the way up to this highest point here where the output or function value is positive eight. Again, this point is closed, so eight is in the range of the function and therefore the range of f of x would be, would be all values from negative one to positive eight, including the endpoints. So to express this using an inequality, we would say f of x, the outputs are greater than or equal to negative one and less than or equal to positive eight. To express the range using interval notation, the interval goes from negative one to positive eight. And again, because both endpoints are included, we use a bracket here as well as here. If an endpoint was not included, we would use a rounded parenthesis. I hope you found this part helpful. Next, we'll take a look at how to determine the function value f of four from the graph.